name is Tia Candelaria. I am a graduate student in the physics department and I study astrophysics. I was originally interested in chemistry when I was in high school. I had a really great chemistry teacher. And then when I got to college, I took a four week general astronomy class, which got me interested in astronomy. And then once I learned that I could do chemistry and astronomy at the same time, I could study chemistry in space, that just took my interest. So when I was in undergrad, I actually had a department of eight professors and six of them in the math and physics department. Six of them were female and only two of them were males. So going to school at a liberal arts college, I definitely had the experience of seeing a lot of women in the field because of our professors. We had a fairly split department because the school was made up more of women. And so when I came to tech, the environment that I lived, that I was in was a little bit different than what I had been used to in undergrad. Um, it's not abnormal and it wasn't for me to ha be the only girl in the class. Um, this happens a lot for just minorities, women, people of color, is that they just don't see a lot of rep representation in their field or their study. Um, that definitely leads into the imposter syndrome. It makes people feel alienated in their programs and so I think the hardest part is, um, well at least for me, it was transitioning from um, one school to another, but for a lot of people it's never having seen uh, representation in their, their departments. My passion as far as, um, like regarding to my academics, I really enjoy learning something new. I enjoy um, having a problem that I have to solve. Um, for the most part, I enjoy trying to figure out those problems and find solutions to them. And I think that's always been just like a building block of who I am. I think what motivates me the most is my friends and family, their support that they have for me. I think that support is really important and having them supporting me as I struggle through the program or as things are being really exciting and happening, their support um, keeps me going, keeps me driven. And then also just my personal drive. I am a very driven person. I have goals and things that I want to accomplish and I keep track of those and make sure that um, I remind myself of those frequently so that way I know what I'm reaching for. I am involved with the GSA. I'm the GSA Vice President this year. I am also involved with the hiking club a lot before pre-pandemic, pre obviously. Um, I really enjoy going to yoga class or uh, Melissa's boot camp class. I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, I also just like going to the gym. So having that um, thing that can relieve my stress when things get hectic and stressful. The advice I have for women getting into this field would be, it's supposed to be hard. Um, we are doing things that do not come naturally, don't come intuitively to people. That's why we go to school is to learn. And so when you're struggling in a class, that's not the worst thing that could happen is because you, you're learning, you're developing, and as you're doing that, you're struggling because that's what's supposed to happen. My inspirational words would be, or I guess my advice would be to find people who are in your circle, in your department, or in your school. Find people that you can go to and discuss issues that are happening academically or with your research. And also find people who don't have anything in common with your academics and your research. Maybe somebody in a different department, people around town. Having that um, building community with people who know what you're talking about and people who don't. And so making sure that you have a little bit of everything in your circle is going to keep you motivated and feeling supported.